Good day everybody and uh, we are back again together. Uh, uh, we're looking, continuing on that, uh, uh, you know, DBE uh, 2021 June paper. Um, we're looking at question three. Um, so if you haven't subscribed, please just be part of the family. And uh, for those of you who need assistance, either mathematics or physical science, uh, you know, uh, you're welcome to get in touch with us. And our email address is info at mlungisinkosi.co.za. Right, so we're continuing looking at question three. Um, so they say learners use compounds A, B, and C to investigate one of the factors that influence the vapor pressure of an organic compound. Um, uh, just to say this uh, before I continue, uh, if you want to get this paper, you can always uh, go to the, to the DBE website. Uh, you know, they should have it available. Okay, remember it's the... Uh, um, the ASC or rather the senior certificate exam okay uh, in this case uh, from 2021 okay right so uh, they say define the term vapor pressure remember we define uh, vapor pressure as the pressure that is exerted by a liquid okay at equilibrium okay so um, uh, 3.2 of course I'm lazy to write that down uh, of course you should be able to get that so they say write down the independent variable for this investigation now I want you to note in this case um, what is it that they changed uh, between the two uh, so first of all they gave us butane 1 all the next thing they gave us butane uh, butane 2 own and the last one they gave us propanoic acid. Uh, if you ask me what is it that they keep changing, uh, it's the functional group, uh, um, or you can say the homologous series uh, to which each of them belong. So in this case, that would be our answer. So 3.2, uh, you'd say independent variable. Uh, please remember the independent variable is what we change, and the dependent variable um, is what changes as a result. So as you change the homologous series, what it affects is the vapor pressure. So vapor pressure in that case would be uh, the dependent variable. So in this case, I would simply say our independent variable, uh, you can say it's the functional group of compounds, uh, functional group, or uh, if you want to, you can actually say it's the homologous series, okay? Uh, homologous series okay to which each of them belong all right so 3.3 um, they say which compounds a or b has a higher vapor pressure okay so if i look at a that's butane one all that has uh, um, uh, you know what do they call these uh, uh, hydrogen bonds? Yes, uh, I don't know why I forgot that for a moment. Okay, so this has hydrogen bonds, whereas, uh, which are the strongest, by the way, intermolecular forces, okay? And whereas if I look at B, it has dipole-dipole uh, um, forces, it has uh, van der Waals forces, or, yeah, or van der Waals forces, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so in this case, obviously, these are more stronger, uh, the, the hydrogen bonds are more stronger than uh, the van der Waals forces, okay, or the dipole-dipole forces. So in this case, remember, the stronger the hydrogen, uh, the stronger the bonds or the stronger the intermolecular forces, the lesser the vapor pressure, okay? So in that case, it would mean that B would actually have uh, uh, weaker uh, intermolecular forces and therefore it would have higher vapor pressure. So our answer there should be B. Okay, uh, so that's 3.4. Let's go to the next one. Uh, they say explain uh, the answer to question 3.3. Um, uh, okay, so actually I've just explained it uh, now, but uh, let's, let's formally uh, uh, write that down. So in this case, we would say uh, butane one all, um, butane one all, okay, has uh, um, hydrogen bonds. Uh, so yeah, hydrogen bonds, oh, hydrogen bond, okay. And uh, if you look at butane two own, butane. 2 ohm 
has um, dipole dipole forces okay uh, in this case we know that hydrogen bonds are stronger hydrogen bonds are stronger than uh, are stronger than dipole dipole forces okay uh, dipole dipole and so what happens more energy is required okay more energy is required required to separate uh, to separate that uh, um, you know the molecules of uh, butane one all uh, in that case and uh, to separate the molecules of butane one all uh, remember we are not breaking the bonds we are just separating molecules okay uh, so more energy is required to separate the molecules of uh, butane one all okay yeah i hope you can get that butane one all okay then uh, butane two own okay butane two own so in that case uh, um, so therefore that is what makes uh, um, uh, for vapor pressure uh, to be lower okay uh, for a all right so therefore vapor pressure would be lower for uh, for a okay right uh, 3.5 all right, now they give us, they say the graph represents the relationship uh, between vapor pressure and temperature for compound A at sea level. All right, they say X and Y represent different temperatures. Okay, right. So now they say write down uh, the term for the temperature represented by X. Okay, can you see that vapor pressure there? is 101.3 which is what we call uh, atmospheric pressure right so what do we call the temperature at which the vapor pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure that's definitely going to be boiling point so it means when i look at 3.5.1 our answer there should be that's the boiling point uh, of uh, that particular um, uh, compound okay and then 3.5.2 as we move swiftly along they say state the phase at which a uh, uh, sorry of, at which compound a uh, at temperature y all right uh, of compound a rather at temperature y okay so they say choose between gas liquid and solid now remember um, before temperature x uh, this uh, gas or I mean this this compound would be in liquid phase because it hasn't vaporized it as yet but the moment we get to that point there um, at that uh, point where we get to the boiling point right so remember we start vaporizing so it means it becomes gas so uh, at temperature Y it would definitely become it would be a gas okay right and then they say to us, uh, re uh, redraw the table, uh, the graph rather, above in your answer book on the same set of axes. Okay, sketch the curve that will be obtained for compound C. All right, now you note compound C. Uh, so this was compound A. Uh, compound C would actually have um, uh, even stronger intermolecular forces, right? Remember that uh, for compound C, which is propanoic acid, it also has hydrogen bonds, okay? But in this case, it has two sides of hydrogen bonds, whereas this guy has only one side of hydrogen bonds, right? A hydrogen bond, rather. Uh, so what would happen uh, in that case is that if this is the graph for A, uh, perhaps let me just use another, uh, another color there. So if this would be our graph for A, so that's 101.3, of course, please label this graph. Okay, uh, I'm not necessarily going to label it. Okay, I'm trying to get a different color there. All right, so uh, what would it mean for, uh, for 
uh, for the graph of C is that it would have an even lower uh, boiling point, you know, compared to the graph of A. Okay, so um, how that graph would look like, of course, the vapor pressure should be lower than that of A. So it would actually be, this would be the graph for C. And you can see uh, in that case where you've got 101.3, that happens at a much higher temperature. Okay, so that means it would have a higher boiling point uh, in that case than A. All right, and so that's how your graph would look like. Please don't forget to uh, also uh, just um, um, uh, label your, your graph. Okay, right, uh, as we move to the next question. Oh, actually, uh, there's no next question. <laughs> We've reached the end of that uh, question. All right. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't uh, subscribed as yet, uh, please just be part of the family. OK, uh, you see, we're enjoying ourselves so much. Uh, we don't even see when uh, we've got into the end of a question. All right. And uh, hopefully you are able to benefit from these lessons and they're helping you a lot. OK. And um, yeah, so please continue working hard, ladies and gents. Uh, you know, we've got our distinctions in sight here and definitely we will be able to obtain them uh, at this rate. Right. OK. Otherwise, from me for now, sharp, sharp.